are you getting it? And so when you are walking in the light, you are not afraid of anything. But when you are in darkness, that is when fear comes in. And stepping out of love is stepping into darkness. For instance, if it is night and there is no light outside, and we are here, and outside is very dark, I mean black darkness, you can't see anything. And we are here, for instance, maybe we are praying or something. And all of a sudden, maybe somebody throws a big stone to hit this wall. And we hear the noise. Boom! Now everybody will go like, what was that? Are you understanding me? Now, we will panic, number one. We don't know what made that noise. Because it's dark. And so if we want to satisfy our curiosity, and we say, uh, administrator, would you please check what made that noise? He said, ah, pastor, you mean I should go into that darkness? What if I go and something hit me? <laughs> Are you getting it? Now, I want you to understand why the Bible says, perfect love casts out fear. Because love is light. Opposite love is darkness. And so something made that noise. And because it's dark, we can't see. Therefore, we are afraid of whatever made that noise. But look at daylight. Everything is bright outside. If somebody throws the same stone and it hit the wall, boom, we turn like this. And we saw that that was the stone that hit the wall. It's like, oh, and that was it. Why? Because we could see what created the noise. Therefore, we are not afraid of it. That is all how it means. So when you are not walking in love, you are always afraid. Because when you are not walking in love, God is not shining his, the light of his word on you. So everything scares you. Everything you become, you know, it's like you read meaning into everything. Because love is not in place. But when love is in place, you don't care who is planning what. Are you getting it? Because you are walking in the light of the world that even when somebody is planning evil, you know what is about to happen. Are you understanding me? That is why I always say, I will never sit down and think of what anybody is planning to do against me because the Bible says, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And he that digs a pit for a child of God will fall into it himself. So you want to dig a pit for me, get ready to go into it. That scripture, that Bible, it cannot be broken. But if you are not walking in love, you can't believe that word. You can't see it. You doubt it. And therefore, when you see somebody digging pit, you also want to dig another for the person yourself. That is what makes you react to every negative thing anybody does. When love is not in place. Church, you have no idea what God wants to release upon your life. But there are some things that must be put in place. There is a platform God wants you to start on in order for him to believe. Because like I said, love created you. And so every cell of your physical body, every molecule in your physical material universe, everything you see, fish, the animal, everything was made by love. Everything. Everything was made by love because without love, nothing was made. God is love and God made everything. Therefore, love made everything. Love made everything. So you, you were created to love. Love bred life into you. So what is you is love. And that is why anything that is contrary to love goes against your very substance. And so when you decide to hate people, you are hating yourself. Your substance can, is, is foreign to your substance. That is why even medical science have proven that people that are quick to anger and they hold bitterness and grudge in their heart, they are prone to sicknesses. That is the truth. Because your, your, your body was made to love. Love bred life into you. Therefore, when you are not walking in love, you are doing something that is against yourself. That is why God said, love one another. Because God wants us to be blessed. So don't do what you hurt your body. So when you are hurting somebody, you are not, you know, uh, 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 harming the person. You are harming yourself. 
And this is the reason why every child of God must learn to forgive. Because one thing that makes us have a bitterness is the spirit of unforgiveness. And that is one demonic spirit that the devil is using against the church. God understands that somebody has hurt you. He knows that somebody did something wrong. But God respects his principle. He said, forgive. Now, imagine God telling you, forgive even your enemies. You know, so if God is asking me to forgive my enemies, then those who are not my enemies, what do you think God will expect me to do? <laughs> Glory be to God. Amen. You know, so church, it is the devil, it's a spirit of the devil that put pressure on you to hold bitterness, I mean to be bitter against people, to bear grudges with people. When you have a problem of letting go, please, it is a spirit. I want you to understand it that way, I want you to see it that way so you can fight it. Because if you allow it, it will wreck a lot of things in your destiny. If you allow it, it will stop you from reaching where God wants you to reach. I learned it the hard way. I've said it many times before. How I was so badly hurt. But people are even considered pastors. I mean, spiritual mentors, so to speak. People I was open up, I would tell them my secret, my shortcomings. Even if I commit sin, I would go and confess to them for them to help them. And these same people were going around painting me black, making me look like the child of the devil. And when it came to my notice, I was I was so broken. I, I, I found it hard to even go to church. I was so hurt that when I go to church and I see them standing in the pulpit, because they were pastors, I see them in the pulpit, my heart start, I mean, bumping. At a point, I decided not to go to church because I didn't want to see them. I was so hurt, I was so broken, it affected my 